What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to unlock an iPhone, of course from the Apple ID, and of course how to unlock the passcode or the lock screen using a program called For You Key. Now this program is created by Tenorshare and it's available in here on their website and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. Now what it can do is to basically remove the Apple ID on iPhone and iPad without the password, but this only works for the iPhone 11 and earlier. It can bypass the iPhone and iPad screen password instantly. It can fix a disabled iPhone or iPad without iTunes or iCloud and it can remove four digit or six digit passcode, touch ID, face ID from iPhone or iPad. It's fully compatible with the latest iOS 14 for the lock screen removal and if find my iPhone is not enabled you are able to unlock any device. So when you get the program it looks like this. It has two different options, unlock Apple ID and unlock lock screen passcode which I'm going to use in here. Now I have connected my iPad and as you can see it says remove iPhone passcode and this works for forgot iPhone passcode or the iPhone was disabled. Now even though it says in here iPhone, the iPad works very well. So I'm going to press start in here, but I already have the firmware downloaded in here so I can press select, though if you don't have it you can definitely download it with the program and of course I'm going to press start unlock. There are a couple of warnings in here. Using 4 u key will erase all the data on your device, your iOS version will be updated to the latest one and make sure your iPhone has enough power. Now as I said, in order to be able to unlock it properly, find my iPhone has to not be enabled. If it's enabled, only a couple of devices work on iOS 11 and low. Lower. So I'm going to press start unlock and of course this is going to take a while and as you can see it shows the device in there and it says please keep your device connected and do not use the device during the process to avoid causing the device bricked. Now it's actually true if you disconnect the device while it's being flashed because what happens in here is basically the IPSW gets restored your device can get bricked. So yeah it's a good idea to not disconnect the device while this is doing and of course it's a good idea to use a proper USB cable that is not damaged in any ways and that is to avoid the connection being trapped. So as you can see it says in here 22%. While we wait for that, let's check a little bit the website for more information about the product. If you bought for example a device that has the Apple ID on it and stuff like that, but find my iPhone is not enabled, you would definitely be able to unlock it with this. There are multiple things this can do, however your data is definitely going to be removed from the device. So do not attempt to do this if you want to save the data from the device. This program will definitely delete it. Now please keep in mind that between 7th of September and 30th of September, the uh, Tenorshare company has a 70% off for all the products, so definitely check their deals out. If you need support for the program, it's also available in here, they have a huge FAQ page and of course you can even request help if you cannot find what you're looking for, so the support is actually good. Now my device shows the Apple logo now, it has restarted and as you can see it's at 15%. Now at this point it means that the device is actually restoring and yeah it does show a progress bar right now under the Apple logo. Now it says in there estimated time 6 minutes minutes but from my experience it can take up to 10 or even 12 minutes for a restore to complete. Just be patient and of course you will be able to see the uh, progress here but also on the device. There is a progress bar that gets increased on the device so you can definitely monitor that. It says in here as well on their website do not disconnect your device. Also a very important thing do not erase all contents and settings on the device or restore the iPhone with iTunes after the Apple ID removal because the original Apple ID is necessary to activate the device. So this is more of a bypass other than a removal and it says in here that for iOS 11.4 and above, these are not supported if the Find My iPhone is on. And of course, they do not condone illegal removing and stuff like that. So this is actually good to remove the uh, passcode or the Face ID and stuff like that, or the Apple ID if the device is running iOS 11 or lower. So as you can see, it's already at 50%. We're going to wait for it to complete and I'm going to be right back. All right, so as you can see, after a couple of minutes, it says in here, passcode has been removed successfully. And of course, please enter the lock screen passcode after the device restarts. You will see a progress bar showing the device is updating and of course just wait for a moment for your device to be back to normal and that's basically it you press down in here and that's it now if you want to remove the uh, apple id you would press in here and of course it would be the same procedure but this device is not supported because this one is an ipad mini 4 and of course it's not activated right now because it's just been restored so that's basically it with this program you can download it in the link below check out their deals as well as i said 70 percent off for all the products from the 7th all the way up to september 30. thank you for watching i am just now till the next time. Peace out.